Hey, what's up? This is Max from CGMax7.com, and I'm here to make a tutorial on flipping brushes. Now, this is a request from a friend, and I'm going to teach you how to use this flipping brushes in advanced version. We're also going to cover up some more topics, so let's get started. So, for the clipping brushes, you need to hold down Control Shift, and you're going to see here in the brush palette is a quick change now these are all clipping brushes just leave these two alright and um, basically all are the same so I'm cover up some and rest of them are same so don't worry about it so let's start with the clip curve and click on it and hold down control shift and drag and you will notice that there is a gradient on the black side now this gradient defines that this portions will be cut out so if I drag over the mesh and leave it so as you can see it's cut out so it's on symmetry so it cut out on the both side so let me turn off the symmetry and undo and hold down control shift and let's drag it again now if you notice it's snapping on all angles so if you don't want snap just leave the shift and here you go so if I cut out like this without snap right and holding down control shift and one more time now this time if you notice I'm hovering all over this so what I'm doing is holding down spacebar and I can hover this on the mesh and just leave it that's it so holding down control shift one more time and this time I'm going to take on the mesh while holding down spacebar and what what I'm going to do over here is tap the alt key and just drag it down now if you notice there's a curve it's because of the alt key and the alt is made a point over here and it's like a bezier curve so if you don't hold down alt again it gives you the, another curve now if you hold tap the all two times at the same so it gives you an, an angle of a 90 degree so you can select the, an angle and leave it just like that here you go now let me control Z and let's switch to another brush which is slice curve now this was pretty useful now let's slice it over here All right holding down alt it's the same like the clip covering clip curve brush and now let me hold down alt again and here you go now nothing's happened but if you hold down shift F for the wireframe and you notice there are two groups now these two groups are made with this called slice curve right and it can be very useful now let me tell you how hold down control shift click on it click on double sided and mask this path and control shift again and let's go to deformer and size small a bit now if you see there's a new design let me control down control it again and here you go now let's check it out something more let me undo now holding down control shift and go to clip curve again right now control shift again and cut now if you notice there is no group it's just a solid one group right but if you need a different group in a slice which you can do hold down control shift alt spacebar at the same time and the pop-up menu will come like just like this one so what you do is just click on polygroup now if this time if I cut it creates a new polygroup if you notice just like that one more time new polygroup and new polygroup so you, in this way you can create a lot of polygroups with the cut and it can be very useful with 
hard edges and mostly it's useful for you know creating hard surface modeling now let's create something quickly because it's a quick tutorial and I want to make it fast so let me do it fastly on this double sided control drag to mask control shift and size small it a bit but this time I'm going to on Dynamesh and increase the resolution a bit and control and drag and shift F and here you go something like this kind of weird let me turn on the perspective go to side control shift and quickly 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 let me see how much I can quickly seems okay Okay, let's increase the resolution and deformer and size a bit. Not much. Here we go. Now, rest of the part for this crease can be fixed by the pinch tool. A lot of people having trouble with the crease, so I think this would be a better solution. So hold down B, P, and pinch. There you go. Uh, click on symmetry yeah if you notice the crease is getting quite good what you also can do is go to geometry and click polish so each and every time you get a nice hard edge let's do it one more thing go to displace and take the alpha of 0 06 and let's write dragon dot make it big this side is symmetry and this side not. No worries. Go to let's go to transform and take it C. There we go. Increase the intensity. Yeah, that's good. And this one. Cool. Now you got some nice crease over here and this can this one can be fixed Let's go to polygroups and group it as well. Click here. And hold on shift F, it's fixed. Ta -da. Uh, bit new design for this quickly. Okay, let me see if I can find the uh, Damien standard. Here we go. Just pretty cool brush. Let's in take the lazy mouse, take the lady radius to 16, and make a quick design over here. just like that okay for the design I don't know even what I'm making right now but it's good you're watching it live 
so it's good. Take the pinch. Make it hard. Perfect like that. Okay, it's good. So in this part we're going to take again the displace brush you can found it and all these brushes can be found in the brush palette so it's just a shortcut nothing fancy okay I'm going to take the alpha and this time what I like is take one of my favorite alpha which I made it on my own and alpha. So I'm going to use this alpha. Increase the intensity. Make it like that. Make it as uh, cool. Now let's go with the clipping brush again and find something new if we can find. Let's try some uh, clip circle. We can make it something new. Let's see. We can. Can, 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 can. Go to Control Shift. And let's see if it's going to work. Nope. Holding down Control Shift and R to invert. Yep, it worked. Cuts out and also if you notice it creates a new poly group which is cool and that's what we wanted just click on it click here oops to make mask and invert the mask holding down W click snap it Angle and it's perfect. Now hold invert the mask, shift underneath, and let it calculate. It's done. I mean, you get the point, right? Let's create something new. Let's try something clip rectangle. Learn control shift and drag and it's important that you don't drag it too much if you do it acts pretty weird so if you want to see let me show you something demo over here so you can see let me turn on the symmetry control shift if I got over here see this is what I was talking about this line now it's like a I don't know kind of weird but just need to you know, be aware of this so let me cut it out something from over here oops control shift alt and yeah it's look cool but in general basis what you are watching that I think you got the point but what are exactly the clipping brushes and how it can be useful I think uh, in the future I'm going to make more tutorials so thanks for this guys and have fun.